okay guys welcome to my youtube channel and thanks for clicking into this video because it's going to help you a lot most of our fellows like artists underground artists content creator and entertainer and other people wants to want to to create a channel with youtube to start making money to monetize your account but, but most of them they feel they want to they don't know how to start so in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can open your account and what you should do and what is needed to be done by you yep you know we, all, we always have that misconception that youtube don't pay in most african countries yeah it's true because not all countries are within the youtube monetization program but you yourself now you can still be monetized even when you are not within the youtube monetization program yeah but, but this video is all about me me show you the process in opening your, your channel opening a new channel as a beginner how to start growing immediately on youtube and one thing about youtube is it is a little bit difficult than audio video platform like tiktok like facebook views youtube is difficult it is not like tiktok or facebook where you will just post video you start getting views people are liking your video and it's like getting followers no youtube is a different journey <laughs> it will be difficult at times but i can tell you don't give up why you are on youtube as a youtuber keep putting efforts yeah so number one if you are a beginner and you are just getting on youtube i can tell you you must have good camera quality good camera quality it might not be a HD camera, but you also use a smartphone. But you should know which phone to use, and you should always make sure that your camera is on the correct, the, the correct quality that will give you that clear-looking image in your video. Stop using RTF phone. Stop using other local class phone. You can either use Samsung, you can either use iPhone, you can either use Techno to start making your video online. No matter what you you can do. I'm telling you about phone because maybe you might not have the camera to do the video. You get the camera to do the video. Yeah. If you get the camera, fine, it's okay. But you can use Nikon or Canon camera. But if you don't have camera, you can use a smartphone. You know, giving your video that clear looking quality, the audience on YouTube will, will have interest in watching your video. You know, no one will want to watch a video that is dull, it is not clear. And you know, that like it looks boring. No one will try to watch your video. Your video will be like it's fake. Yes. So once they click your video and it looks dull, it don't have good camera quality, it's gonna be fake. Yeah. So that's number one. Get a good camera quality and make sure your camera is on the proper setting, it's on the hard it's on the high quality of that camera. Yes. Stop using local cast on even if you don't have camera. Number two. Number two, look for good background. Even me here right now, I don't have a very good background. But look for good background to record your video. You know, having a kind of a good background will, will make your world look like a premium user. When I say premium user, I'm talking about you being that kind of a top class YouTuber. Even if you're even if you're not making one billion or one billion, that one is different. But at least make your background to look good. Yes. Once you have a good background, your, your video will look creative, your video will look cool. Yes. Number three, you must find a, a content that you will be doing on YouTube. You do you only grow on YouTube by, by by providing one content because it is one content that people are gonna be following you by. If you are a musician, always post about your music. If you are a comedian, always post about your comedy. If you're a content creator, always put always put about your content creator. If you teach people on learning something on YouTube, keep doing that. Don't post a video today about musician, then tomorrow you come posting video about teaching someone, you know, in school. Like another video will come like like like, like, like you you're posting comedian. No. Use one content. Yes, use one content where you, where you allow people to follow you for your work. If you're a dancer, Always post daisy video because it's when you're dancing video that people will start following you back. You can't post daisy video then tomorrow you come and post singing video. No, 
you are making the others confused and they will and they will they won't have interest in in your video yeah so 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 this is the main thing that you, I, I, I have to learn always use one content if, if you can if you can teach people about things that you know that, that, that will have interest in keep doing it yes keep doing it whether you are a comedian you are, you are a teacher you are a um, you are a, let me just say you are you are a dancer or what's the ever thing that you do on YouTube. Always keep doing it and don't give up in doing it. YouTube is difficult, but, 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 but when you reach at a certain level, you're gonna start benefiting and you're gonna tell me later. Yes. Okay, number is number four. Yes, the first one was. The first one was using good camera quality, the second one was background, the third one was about the content, using the correct content. And the fourth one here is um, making sure all details are feel correctly within your YouTube channel. Because, because when you're opening a channel, they will ask for many things. Yeah. So make sure you put the rightful information there, don't use fake thing there. Yes, make sure it is there. Make sure everything is there. Don't use fake information. That's number four. Because you have to follow YouTube program, YouTube policy, all that, you know, in their community guides. You have to follow everything. You have to follow everything. I mean, sorry. You have to follow everything and do your work. So, next, which will be the last one, is each time when you upload your video on YouTube. Always share your video to all your social media platforms. Copy the link of that video that you have just posted on YouTube or uploaded on YouTube. Go to your, to your, to your Facebook account, share that link, tell the people to watch the, the, your video. Let me click on that link and come to your YouTube channel to watch the video. It could be Instagram, it could be Facebook, it could be Twitter or whatsoever media you are, you are using. Just share your video link. Yes. And the last one. Yeah, the, the last one I said five, but let me just give six. The last one here is the thumbnail. The thumbnail. This one is very, very important because it attracts audience to watch your video and give you more views. And once you have more views, you will get more subscribers to your video. That you know, this particular thumbnail I'm talking about. This one is not really known by many people, but let me explain this. There are some video on YouTube. Hmm? There are sometimes on, on YouTube you will, you will be scrolling. You know, I like you scroll down or scroll up. Yes, that one. You know how you can do it. Scrolling. And there are some video here you will see it. A very interesting call photo. That call photo is called a thumbnail on YouTube. Maybe it might be a snake following a car. You might see that particular video. And when you click on that video, it might just be a snake, a, a little snake crossing the road. So you must make your thumbnail interesting that when all the or all the other YouTubers see your work they will have interest in watching your work so your thumbnail is the photo you attach on your video yes you do that after when your video has been uploaded on youtube so you can so you can attach your thumbnail we call that photo that, that, you, that, that you can attach on that on that video we call it thumbnail so once your thumbnail has been attached but as you know your thumbnail should be interesting you can, you can even be a dancer you can be whatsoever make your thumbnail interesting that, that when the audience see your thumbnail they will be like wow this, this particular video, let me press this and it will press this immediately. So that's how it works. So there are six steps. The first one here is, is using good camera quality when you're starting your YouTube, your YouTube video. The second one is, is the location, which is the background or whatsoever and whatever you're doing. The third one is is the is by using the rifle content on YouTube. The fourth one is making sure all your your details about your, about your YouTube channel is correct. The fifth one here is, mm, I forget, you know, the fifth one here is, okay, sharing your link to other social media platform, yeah, and the last one here is using your thumbnail, so once you, you follow these six steps, trust me, you're going to blow on YouTube, you're going to start getting views, and once you reach your YouTube monetization program, you're going to start earning from YouTube no matter where you are within the world, other Africa, any countries, you can be monetized. Yes, and I'll be showing that in my next video. How to how to be more task when you are done with in YouTube monetization program. Yes, 
people that are some countries that are limited to YouTube monetization program. There are some countries that that, that is not within YouTube monetization program. But I can still show you how you can earn from YouTube, even when you are not within that, that program. So guys, like, share, subscribe, and press that bell icon to be notified. Whenever I have a new video, you'll be the first to see that video. Subscribe. Subscribe.